Hi friends, and welcome to Pre-K with Miss K's mini lesson. Today we are talking all about fireworks. Fireworks, that's right. <laughs> I am joined today by Mr. Bear. All right, let's get started. First things first, kids should never play with fireworks, okay? So there's a rocket, even sparklers. I had no idea that sparklers can get to be up to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt gold. On a hot day at home, it can be 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the sparkler can get up to 1800 degrees. So we wanna make sure that uh, fireworks are only handled by adults. We do have a fun firework art project that you can do that's really fun and I'll show you at the end. Okay, let's get started. First things first, fireworks were invented over 2,000 years ago. Do you know what country they were invented in? It's in Asia. Fireworks were invented in the country of China over 2,000 years ago. And we still get 90% of the fireworks supply still comes from China. One of the biggest consumers of fireworks is the Walt Disney Company. That's pretty funny, huh? Here I have a basic diagram of how a firecracker works. There are three different parts to a firecracker. There's the shell, the explosives, and the stars. Now stars you might think are a shape, but stars are actually these small balls, okay? That are made of different chemical elements that will glow different colors when the firework it's burn and explode. The three parts to a firecracker is the shell, the explosive, and the stars. Most of the fireworks that we use have an aerial shell. That means it's cylindrical, sometimes a cone or sometimes spherical and round like a ball. The explosives that are used in a firecracker are usually a black powder. Black powder is made from sulfur, charcoal and potassium nitrate. All three of those chemicals will react with each other to create an explosion when they're heated up. So that's what the fuse is for. If you lit a firecracker right in front of you, a big one, you could get hurt, right? Where do the firecrackers have to explode? Up, up in the air. air. So in order for the firecracker to get up in the air, at the bottom it needs a lifting charge. Okay, the lifting charge will get the shell high enough so what happens is the black powder ignites at the base, sending it out of whatever tube you have it in. Usually the firecrackers will come up with its own tube. Then inside there's a delay fuse, okay, that runs to another black powder pocket that's known as the bursting charge. That explodes at a certain height way up in the air. After that explosion shoots out, then it sets on fire all the little stars that are full of different colors. And depending on the chemical elements, they'll glow those different colors. So I have a chart here of all the different colors and the different chemicals that are made up. For example, if you want a green, they would use barium chloride. For orange, they use the calcium salts. Okay, so they use different combination of chemicals to make the different colors in the explosion. There are also other chemicals that are added to make crackling sounds, flashes, and loud booms that are called sound charges. So you can have a lifting charge, a bursting charge, and you can even have a sounding charge that gives a big boom or crackle. I've included a link with the video to show you at a science center where they popped some balloons and showed how they make different colors. So make sure you check that out. It's only a couple minutes long. And last but not least, I want to show you how we did our painted fireworks. You can do it on white paper, but I think it's fun to do it on the black paper where it's like nighttime. All you have to do is cut a piece off of a paper towel roll and fringe the end when you set it flat into the paint and then you add it onto the paper and you can turn it to make all different colors. Even though it's not safe for you to handle the fireworks, you could definitely paint a fireworks picture for yourself. Make sure you stay tuned because I have a couple extra videos from the fireworks show that we went and saw last weekend. And now let's end with our joke. What do you get when you cross a dinosaur with fireworks? 
Mm. What do you get, Mr. Bear? A dynamite. <gasps> Dynamite! Good one! All right, make sure you stay tuned to watch some more firework videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye, friends! Bye!